property lines. Um, if the applicant could approach the podium and identify themselves and present their application, please. Matthew Faulkner. Good evening. Uh, Is there anything else you would like to explain about your proposal? It's, I must say it was well organized and it's quite easy to follow so I can understand your hesitation of adding to it and messing up what's otherwise yeah. a good presentation. I'll, if it's okay with you, um, I have nothing else to say and I'll be happy to answer Must have been if I can. coached by a lawyer somewhere. <laughs> Um, does anyone have questions for the applicant? Everybody should have received the book, booklet. I assume everyone got it. it. Looks like everyone did. I guess I have I have one question, and it it appeared to me maybe and maybe I'm wrong that the variance is really dictated by the the width of the decks. And <laughs> I'm wondering why the deck couldn't have been just, you know, cut back a foot uh, or however many feet. It looks like a foot in each. One's four foot, one's one foot. And if that wouldn't have solved the problem. It's, Actually, I the asked, am, I, am, I, am I off base there? No, that's the same question I asked Bruce. Actually, the deck meets the setbacks. At, the deck's not greater than 10 feet above grade. Uh, allowed to have a 15-foot setback, and I verified with the applicant that it won't be more than 10. So we only had to advertise to the building. Yeah, that's the difference. All right. Thank you. Good. <laughs> that's that's good. Good. Yeah. <clears throat> and I take it they measured to the center line of the road for the front front setback, just because uh, that's an easier place to identify. Northeast Civil Solutions. Uh, was we hired Northeast Civil Solutions to do that for us, and they said that that's that's how it's done. That's their business. That's how they they do these things, and that you would understand that. And yeah, yeah. Point of clarification: this the setback that was advertised is from the property line. Right. But for sake of ease, ease, ease of measurement, without having to find everybody's front property yeah. line, we can do the comparison. You guys have done that before. Yeah. From the center comes out with the same results for, for uh, comparison purposes. I have one more question. Please. Uh, the list of abutters uh, and their letters of support, is, does that include all of the houses on the street, essentially. That includes or is it somebody left out. There was one left out, and that would be um, Mrs. Allward. And uh, Mrs. Allward is quite elderly and uh, doesn't get out much. And we decided that it wouldn't be prudent to try to uh, ask her to sign something like that in her present state. And that's fine. Uh, both the butt is that she's not in a butter though. Right? No, she's quite quite a ways down the street. But she there is a picture of her home in here, and it's one of the ones that we used uh, for comparison. Thank you. <clears throat> well, sure. Nice packet. Thank you. Um, in your section five, page two, uh, neighborhood comparison list, all of the you have seventeen lot numbers. Okay. Where I'm talking about. Section five page, the second page in my packet. Okay. We have neighborhood comparison table. Yes. All of these lots, these are all indeed on Beach Bluff Terrace. They absolutely are, yes, sir. Thank you. And there was I looked for a legend on this and there wasn't. The the numbers in red indicate what? The numbers in red are in our favor. Those are people whose setbacks are less than ours and make our case. Equal to or less than yours? Not even equal to, but less than, if I'm uh, not mistaken. That's as measured from the dwelling to the sideline, is that correct? Correct. Uh, and those, none of these those, are deck measurements, are they? That's all correct. Uh, and those figures were um, Northeast Civil Solutions, um, the surveying company in Scarborough, <coughs> took all those measurements for us. And they are, uh, the following page is their original, which is um, maybe difficult to, to follow. So we made our own, 
and highlighted them in, in red um, uh, for, because of that. So I thought the ones that the ones that Northeast Civil Solution gave us could have been improved on, and so we made our own chart on the preceding page. Good. And so the uh, the measurements are from the dwelling to the sideline. The ones in red are less or closer than your property. Correct. Now, some of them appear to be in bold. What does that indicate? Or does that indicate anything? It does. Um, the bold ones are. Could you, if you're going to present to the board, if you could go up to the micro, the microphone, that would be helpful. Um, when we did, I'm Alice Grant, I'm Matthew's girlfriend. Um, and when we, when we did this, we, we, we um, were under the mistaken impression that we needed a setback also for the deck um, that was 15 feet. So the ones in red for the side setbacks are, um, are less than or equal to 15 foot setback that we were asking for. But actually, and the others that are in bold um, are other setbacks that are less than the required 25 foot setback, side setback. And, and, but actually some of those are also, now that it turns out that we only need to ask for the 19 foot setback, some of those are, you know, also are less than the 19 foot. Okay, so the, so. the the ones in red can be used against the deck, even though that's no longer necessary. Correct. Okay. Right. And the ones in bold. Well, the ones in bold are less than yours. Just no, they're just less than the 25 foot required setback. So they're just other setbacks that aren't in compliance. But don't they also support your application as well, the bold ones? Because, like, for instance, the um, 20, lot 20 is, well, I see you didn't want to the, double count, I guess, because the left side was uh, out of variance as well? Right. Um, but they all support our 19-foot our request, except for the, there's one that's 21. Um, lot 22, Bobby. Lot, lot, yeah, that's, that's 21. So that's less than the requirement, but it is more than a greater setback than the 19 foot that was. But for clarification, are all these measurements from your dwelling to the property line or some of them from uh, comparative measurements from other people's decks to the property line or are they all from the other people's dwellings to the property line? Uh, they're all dwellings. I think they're. The difference is on the, on the next page, Northeast Civil Solutions made uh, they measured from some people's front steps. And you can see in some places they put a smaller number on the front set. And that is to account for their steps bumping out even further into the set front That's setback. The front setback. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for the side, do you, do you know if they measured all of these from the That's my understanding. Dwellings? They're all from the dwellings. I, I can't think of anyone who has, even has a side deck. Um, yeah. And there's photographs of each of these Except of each of these homes uh, on the following pages. So, and right, so there are no. Take a look at 33 Beach Bluff, Bluff, Bluff Terrace, which is the one that has the two numbers in bold. Looks like no deck. The other one is so I, Can we assume then that all of these measurements are from the dwelling? Correct. Okay. We'll, we'll assume that. Question for you on the same question about the bold numbers. 
Um, for example, lot 33, excuse me, street address 33, lot 26, has left side of 16 feet and right side of 15.5. Doesn't that also support your application? Initially, we thought that our application was asking for 15 feet. So okay. that would not have because they were both greater than 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, but since they, you're asking for 19 now, those support yours as well? Absolutely, yes. So, and also the same thing about lot uh, 24. address 40 and address um, okay. lot 22. Well, that's 21 feet, so that wouldn't support it, but a lot 20 <coughs> is 18 Correct. feet. Correct. Yes, Jarbo, lot 20, and lot 24, Jones, same thing. So you can add a couple more addresses to your? By my count, you could add four more. Yep. And the, your immediately abutting neighbors are? They are um, Jarbo, and Jarbo is lot 20, and Hill Driscoll, lot 19. And, and which one is the one directly across the street from you? That is Futek Shesky, lot 17. And all of those who've signed the um, yes, they have. letters in support? Yes, they have. Uh, for the, let's for the moment, without panel, uh, board discussion, let's assume that the front, right, and left setbacks are met by your proposed design. And let's, and I have a question regarding the square footage. Um, can you describe for the, the benefit of the board uh, and audience members who don't have your plans uh, the square footage possibly is, is, could be an issue. Do you have other alternatives for that? Yeah, we can scale it back. We can scale it back immediately to 1,800 square feet, and then I believe we'll be in compliance with the 50% rule. Uh, we're off by one. That's the um, lot 66, uh, Ganyon Hayes, which is 1,809 square feet. And uh, um, if, we, if we scale back from 1872 to say 1,800 square feet, then we would be 50% of uh, our 14 nearest abutters. We would be less than theirs. Now, your, your plans, the, the proposed uh, second floor, I assume is what we're talking about, uh, are for your current proposal. What, how, what modifications would there be on the second floor? If that were the case, then, for instance, we could, we could go from um, 36 by 26 to 36 by 25, and that would be 1,800 square feet, in, as opposed to 1,872. So you would step in the second floor? You would step we would, under that, sir, under that scenario, we would shrink that 26 foot, bring it right up to 25, top and bottom, and that would, that would yield 1,800 square feet. 1,800? It would bring you down to 1,800? Yes, it would bring us down to 18 from 1,872. And that wouldn't affect the first floor, only the second floor? Is that no, that would be both. both. If we did both floors from the present uh, 36 by 22, we're asking for 36 by uh, 26. If we shrunk it to 36 by 25, top and bottom, that would be 1,800 square feet. And then we would meet the 50% of our 14 closest abutters. And so that, that side, that would be a side reduction? That, that would be the back. back. But we could so bring it in from the back side back as well. Down. But You'd that was just, we just ran some numbers uh, sort of expecting that question. And there's uh, any number of ways we can shrink it. But that, that's the simplest one, is to just bring it in a foot from the back. So you do have contingency plans along? We do. Okay.
the last, your last three in your table, you didn't have sidelines. Could you explain the reason for that? Uh, um, you didn't have measurements for those uh, uh, side, Left, right, and square footed. I beg your pardon? In your table? Yes, sir. <clears throat> you left the left, right, and square footage off of the last three houses? They weren't necessary to make our point, the 50 to 60 percent. Uh, when we hired Northeast Civil Solutions, they went down the street and measured until they had met the letter of the law and stopped. And that was a, a I guess that was a cost savings thing. They did what they felt was necessary to make the point, and they stopped right there. So for the record, the, the the 14 that you are using are the nearest 14. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. I have no further questions. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, just let the record reflect that the three lots that um, Dr. Chapman was referring to are lots 28, 12, and 31, which are at the end of, uh, away from the subject property, the furthest property is away from the subject property on Beach Bluff Terrace. Questions, other board members? Peter? Welcome. No. No. Nothing. Um, would you like to add anything else to your application? I have nothing else to add, except okay. thanks for considering our application. We Thank you very much. It. At this time, I would like to hear if there's anyone else. We have one other gentleman here. Would you like to either present either for or against this particular application? Or? I do not. Okay. Just watching. Just watching. Very good. Good. Um, well, if you'll have a seat, I'll open up the discussion. I take it you're closing your presentation at this point in time, so, and everybody's exhausted their questions. <clears throat> of the applicant at this time. Okay, so what I'd like to do is close the presentation at this time and open it up for discussion by the board. Any comments about the application? For the sake of the variance, we have established that the deck height is less than 10 feet, so there's no variance required for the deck. Is that correct? That's correct. I think the one point of controversy is the issue that Dr. Chapman has brought out, which is the square footage requirement. It sounds like the applicant is willing to modify um, or allow for an approval subject to that modification. Maybe I should just confirm that. Is that acceptable to you? Okay. So we have an applicant that's indicated they're willing to uh, reduce the size of the request from 26 by, uh, excuse me, 36 by 26 to 36 by 25, 25 foot width of the house uh, or depth of the house. Um, so with that now being the amended application, do we have any further questions or concerns about the, this particular application? It appears that with regard to the square footage being dropped 1,800, they meet the, uh, they have seven of 14 abutters that, um, are more non-conforming than their particular property or more uh, or smaller than the 1,800 square feet. And then as far as the um, sideline variances, they have approximately, I believe it's quite a bit more than 50% that are more non-conforming than theirs, as well as the front setback. I'm not sure I see the problem, the square footage problem. Either. Still 50%. Yeah, especially of the 10 closest. Uh, Seven out of 14. I, I'm counting six that have. It's six out of 14 without the dropping it to 1,800 square feet. That are no, equal to or less. Seven. The apples. Pulls the 1,800. Now, if you use 1,872, it's seven. There's 1,196, 984, 1044, 828, 1552, 672, and 1483. That's seven. There's 14 total. Yeah, seven out of 14. That's 50 percent. I don't. I only count. Where do you count six that are um, larger? 1809, right? Not 11. 
96, the second one. Thought 18. 1809. That's what pulls the seventh one in. Right, that's the seventh one. But there are seven that are. Yep. Okay, I was doing it backwards. Sorry, my fault. I understand. It, it is a bit on confusing the on the square yep. footage. We're looking at larger. Yep. And I was going the wrong way. The variances, we're looking at smaller yep. than the proposed. <clears throat> Any other comments? Do you think we need to just, uh, you recap, is that correct, the numbers, the front and the sides, just for the benefit of the? Just for the benefit of the audience. So, well, On TV audience as well. at home and the, and the minutes. I'm sorry? For the audience at home and the minutes. Uh, the, the front and the sides are, meet the requirements and the square footage is, is one chart of meeting the requirement. Right, okay. as, as, as the application was submitted, but now is amended. Is, and is there a, Mr. Smith, do we, the, the proposal we have, that can be modified based on our recommendation and his agreement without be modified representation? To, to less than, but not more. No. Yeah. Without I guess we would conditionally approve it based upon the condition that they resubmit their permit application uh, at no larger than 36 by 25. Right. Well, it could, yeah, it's amended. You can, so you so can, we can approve. We can we approve it as amended. Ask the amendment, you can approve it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Is there a possibility that the three uh, lots that are not included in the square footage, that two of those are larger? <laughs> well, they're further away, though. If but, you look but, at the map, but we, he I know, consider but we consider 14. I could just finish that, explaining that. this to him. If you look at the map, his obligation is to show, uh, I believe it's 10 closest properties, right? At least. Not less, not less than 10 closest properties. Right. So he's met that requirement. So he has no obligation to go down to lot 28, 31, and. Oh, I know he doesn't have an obligation, but if he wants to, is if, there, if two of those three houses are bigger than his, that gives him. Oh, 50%. I, right. I mean, it's up. I mean, it doesn't matter. To me. I believe. I, I believe I asked him that question earlier, and he said those three would not benefit his variance. I thought he was just talking about the side variance on those. Okay. Is that is that true statement? Okay. He was trying to give you another bite at the apple. Let <laughs> me get you another four. Dude. You do understand, Mr. Faulkner, what we're, uh, the issue that we uh, have a problem with regarding the square footage? Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. But when we submitted this, we did not realize that the square footage was a player. We thought it was strictly the setbacks. And, and we, uh, Mr. Smith was kind enough, after I submitted this, he called me and said, you need to get that in there right away. And he was kind enough to hold up for the day while we But again, your package was quite comprehensive and, and very complete and, and well done. Thank you. That, that, this, that makes it helpful for us. Yeah, you obviously had a good understanding of what needed to be established, which was very helpful. Thanks to Mr. Smith, who spent a lot of time with us on that. And also Peter Blonza. Any other questions, comments? Are we ready to take a vote on this? Okay. Let's do it. On the application, as amended to limit the square footage to 1,800 square feet by creating a 36 by 25 foot new two-story homestead, um, we'll take votes on the following issues. The proposed variance is not a substantial departure from the intent of the ordinance. All in favor? Passes unanimously. A literal enforcement of the ordinance would cause a practical difficulty. All in favor? Passes unanimously. Number three, the need for the variance is due to the unique circumstances of the property and not to the general condition of the neighborhood. All in favor? 
passes unanimously. The granting of the variance will not produce an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood and will not unreasonably detrimentally affect the use of market value or abutting of abutting properties. All in favor? Passes unanimously. Number five, the practical difficulty is not the result of an action taken by the applicant or a prior owner. All in favor? Passes unanimously. Number six, no other feasible alternative to a variance is available to the petitioner. All in favor? Passes unanimously. The granting of a variance will not unreasonably adversely affect the natural environment. All in favor? Unanimous. The property is not located in whole or in part within the shoreline areas described in Title 38, Section 435. All in favor? Passes unanimously. Could I have a motion? Um, somebody want to take a crack at the motion as, as the application is amended? I move for uh, a judgment approving the application as amended. Um, just for the record, I think it might be helpful to be a little bit more explicit. If you review this, it gives the exact what they're applying for. And just add the qualification that um, it has to be less than the 1,800 square feet. I'm not sure I follow. Well, I'll take, let me phrase the motion. Um, it's moved. Uh, that we approve the appeal of Matthew Faulkner for a variance from the strict application of the zoning ordinance requirement of section 961. Uh, the applicant requests a frontline variance of six feet from the required 25 feet and a right side property line variance of six feet from the required 25 feet to construct a new two-story dwelling at 19 feet from both the front and right side property lines. The request has been amended to make clear that the proposed structure will not exceed 1,800 square feet, and this will be accomplished by limiting the size of the structure to 36 by 25. All in favor? Excuse me, I don't think it's a hard 1,800. I think it, it is it, it's not actually 1,800, is it? Is that the? Five by 36 would be exactly 1,800. Nine exactly 18. Okay. Thank nine you. Sorry. Oh, yeah, I already <laughs> was wondering if that was the <laughs> truth. You did the best. Yeah. Jim, do you want that seconded? Motion second. Mo se please. Okay, second. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, any other business to come before the meeting today? Any new communications, Chris? Nope. We have a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. All in favor? Motions adjourn. Uh, meetings adjourn.